Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step method of making this earphone in AutoCAD 3D using only the surfacing tools. Now the fully dimension drawing of this earphone is available in the 2D and 3D practice drawing ebook from SourceCAD. The link of that ebook is in the description. So click the link to download this ebook which contains more than 70 2D and 3D practice drawings and projects and it's absolutely free as well. So with that, let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to start with 3D modeling workspace of AutoCAD and here as you can see, I'm in 3D modeling. If you are not, you can simply go to this gear icon right here and select 3D modeling from this list. All right, so once in the 3D modeling, we are going to start with a lot of circles and completely will be using surfacing tools just to make this drawing. So let's start with the draw panel of home tab. And here I'll start with circles. Click at a point and we'll make the first circle of dia 10 or radius five. So five and enter. Now double click your middle mouse wheel and that's just going to bring this circle in complete view it will just fill this area you can zoom out now and start with another circle so go to circle again and using the same center i'll make another circle now this time the diameter is 8.7 so i'll type d enter and the dia is 8.7 and enter again all right we'll go to circle again so simply press enter that will repeat the circle command go to the same center and this radius is 2.4 so let's just type 2.4 and enter now I'll make a rectangle as well. So I'll go to rectangle and maybe just somewhere here randomly. I'm making the rectangle. So I'll type at now the length of this rectangle is four and the width of this rectangle is 1.8. So four comma 1.8 and press enter. Now I'll go to fillet and add a fillet here. So the fillet radius is 0 0.6. So go to radius, make it 0 0.6, enter. I'll select polyline because I want to apply it on all the four vertices and click. Now I'll move it exactly at the center. To do that, I'll go to move, select this rectangle with fillets, press enter, select this geometric center. And if this geometric center is not visible, go to this status bar option, select object snap and activate geometric center. Now select this, click on this center. All right, so we are done. Now we can convert it into 3D. But before we do that, well, let's go to this southwest isometric view using this home icon and we'll move these sketches on different planes let's start with a smaller circle so i'll just go to copy tool select the smaller one this circle and enter now i'll just click at this point and move it up though you can select any other point also if you want and this distance is 0 0.4 and enter now i'll move it down as well and the distance is again same 0 0.4 and enter now press escape and done now we can delete this circle which is right here at the center the circle which we used as reference it's no longer required and once again i'll go to now move tool so move and now i'll select this circle press enter and just select any point any point is just fine and move it down and this distance is two unit and press enter now i'll repeat the process so go to move tool select this rectangle press enter click on any point move it down and the distance is three and enter now i'll select copy select this rectangle enter click on any point again move it down and the distance is 2.5 all right press escape and here we are now we've got all of these sketches on different planes now we'll use it to convert it into 3d and for that i'll go to surface now the first thing is loft that i'll use from this and i'll loft these three circles so the first circle second and third and make sure you're also selecting it in the same lofting order press enter twice and it is finished now it may not look clear because of the wireframe style so i'll change that so i'll click on this wireframe and change it to realistic share it or something else maybe share it with edges that's going to show the edge as well there we are so we've got the wireframe and the surface if it's not clear you can even change it to shades of gray which is much better actually all right so now once again we'll select loft and once again we are going to start with this surface so i'll go to loft and i'll click this circle right here the circle which we used previously and then i'll select this circle and then i'll select this rectangle and finally this one 
all right and here we are we've got this shape simply press enter once and now we'll change the shape slightly so this is where the shape is quite perfect but right here we want it to remain perpendicular like that so i'll simply go to this grip and select normal to end section now that will ensure that this point remains perpendicular once done press enter and here we are now as you can see it has begun to take the shape all right now this part now this will be patched and we can just patch it for that i'll go to this patch tool select this circle right here and press enter now currently it is just patching it using this flat plane that's not what we want i'll change the continuity type here so go to this grip and change it to g1 continuity which will make this kind of curve you can also change it to g2 if you want but in this case i want g1 continuity so i'll just select it now if you want to know more about g1 g2 and g3 all these continuities then you can check this video all right so with that press enter and here we are we've got this surface too now let's move to this plane that's the front one and here i'll create the groove and to do that well we need to first change the plane right now front is our x z or z x plane and on this plane we won't be able to make anything so in order to make it active for our sketch we need to go to this coordinates select the drop down and change it to view now we'll be able to make sketches here so let's go to rectangle and i'll make another rectangle right here randomly of course and i'll type at 2.1 comma that's the length the width is 0 0.5 and enter now i'll go to fillet and the fillet radius is 0 0.2 so go to radius let's make it 0 0.2 enter polyline and select it done now we just need to move it exactly at the right spot so to do that i'll make a reference sketch first so i'll just go to this point right about here and i'll move it up now that distance is 0 0.3 all right and now i'll select it go to move tool select this midpoint and move it on this end point right here done we can now delete this sketch that line is no longer required all right so we have created this now we can trim this surface using this sketch and that's what i'm going to do so let's go to surface and here we have a tool called trim select it select the surface which you want to trim now press enter and select this cutting curve so this will be used as well cutting curve for this surface now press enter and now select the area which you want to remove so in this case we want to remove the area that is inside so click and the area is gone and here we are it's trimmed press enter again to exit this command and that's our groove all right now we need to fill this area as well as well as this area right inside using patch we'll do it using this patch tool so let's go to patch and i'll select this one right here but before i do that i'll click on chain so that all of these edges are selected so go to chain and select any one of these edges so here i'll just select it and it looks like it won't let me select any single edge here so i'll press escape and i'll select this polyline which is right about here and i'll delete it all right now we only have the surface and i'll try it again so go to patch chain and now i'll select this and as you can see it is now clearly visible so select it and press enter once when you press it once it's just going to patch it with once again completely horizontal plane that you can change using this grip so let's just make it like that click this grip and change the continuity type to g1 and that's going to just give it well this kind of shape and g2 that's here so just select the type of continuity which you want so in this case i don't want this much of continuity for this so it's hard to calculate so i'll just select g1 and press enter and there we are now we also need to fill this area which is right inside and to fill this area i'll actually use loft tool but before i do that i'll simply delete this sketch this tiny sketch which i used previously to create this trimmed surface so i'll delete it so that we only have this and this surface all right now i'll go to home extract edges and i'll simply click on the surface and press enter this will create a new sketch right here as you can see that's a sketch and i'm just going to combine it into one so i'll simply make a window so that all of these sketches inside are selected orbit this drawing and make a window again so that all of these sketches are selected too 
and here we are so as you can see these are selected now simply type j enter and now we have two separate but close splines so that's a spline and then we also have another spline right here now we can use loft so go to surface loft and i'll just select this spline and then this spline right here and press enter twice and that's joined and it's filled completely okay so that's done now the next thing is this extrusion right here so i'll go to this top view as we've already changed the plane that's just going to be the top view now and here we just need to make that but this is not the view from where we can actually make it we need to make it using this as a reference so that's the plane so simply orbit this drawing like so and that's the plane on which we need to make it so that's right view okay right view let's make it top so i'll simply select right view go to home coordinates drop down and select view so this will convert our current view into x y and now we can make our drawing on this view so let's go to this circle and i'll use this as a reference so right here we had this sketch so i'm just going to select here and i'll make the circle of radius 0 0.45 and enter now this circle is created inside and that's totally fine we'll just bring it out so there we are we've got this circle now i'll select it and i just want to move it exactly in line with this and to do that maybe i'll select this left view and create a reference line now i'll go to coordinates and once again change the view that's the first thing which you should do always now go to this line tool select this midpoint right here it's highlighting and move it all the way through this now select the circle go to move tool maybe just move it out first then select it again go to move tool select the center and move it exactly here at the intersection point and now we can delete this line it's no longer required all right now it's exactly where it should be the only problem is its height it should be well 0 0.8 unit with respect to this bottom so let's do that i'll select the circle and actually before i do that once again i need to change the view that's x z or z x view so i'll go to coordinates change the view and that's x y now let's go to move select the circle enter click on any point and move it up to a distance of 0 0.8 and enter and done all right so we are now ready let's extrude this so i'll go to surface and extrude right here select the circle press enter and extrude it all the way through now in this case i'm simply extruding it just by eyeballing this drawing and maybe i'll just click somewhere here so long enough to pass this but short enough for this groove right about here done now of course we have several problems here that we'll fix but before i do that i'll just delete this circle and once again i'll patch this so i'll go to patch select this plane press enter and change the continuity to g1 and press enter again that's done now i'll hide some of the surfaces here so maybe i'll just select this one and i'll maybe also hide this one on the top and this one too so i'll select these three right click go to isolate and hide object so that we can see what's going on inside and as you can see while well, it's moving like this we want to just trim the surface now to do that i'll go to trim and since we want to trim this surface i'll select this and now enter now select the trimming face and that happens to be this one this is the one the surface which we want to use as trimming tool so select and enter now select the part which you want to remove we want to remove this part so click here and done now it will create surface only up to this point press enter and it is finished so we have a clean drawing right here now finally we need to make holes here at the top so bring back everything so right click isolate and select end object isolation so that everything is back in the drawing and this is where we just need to make all those tiny holes now to do that i'll go to this view which happens to be the top one from this and here of course we need to make several smaller circles first so maybe i'll just orbit this like that and this is yz view well let's make it xy so let's go to this and select view now this is xy so let's go to circle and exactly at the center we'll make the first circle so we'll make the circle of radius 0 0.8 and enter and of course it will hide because it is somewhere inside this drawing so we'll just select the surface and right click and hide it all right and now the circle is visible actually that's also not the circle so we'll hide even more surfaces so this one 
right click isolate hide object and now the circle is visible so we have the circle but just to avoid any kind of confusion i'll select this surface too and i'll hide it so right click and hide object so that we only have these all right and we can see that we have several sketches too which are no longer required so i can just select all of these sketches and i'll delete it so that we are left with only this so maybe we'll select this surface this and this and we'll hide it too so right click isolate and hide objects done and we can delete this sketch as well all right so we have a fairly clean drawing and we are now going to use this as a reference so once again i'll go to top and i'll select circle and right here i'll track this point and click here and i'll make the first circle of 0 0.05 radii there we are now let's go to array polar array select this tiny circle this one enter select the center and we'll make 20 objects here so let's just type 20 and enter there we are if you want more of course you can just do that but 20 is just fine for our example now we also need to add rows here so for number of rows i'm going to type 12 and tab key now we need to also adjust the distance between rows and the distance is 0 0.3 unit so 0 0.3 enter and there we are so with that we now have this shape also here make sure this associative option is unchecked it should not be checked else this entire array will work like a single object so i'll keep it unchecked and with that close array done we can also delete this circle it's no longer required this larger one maybe i'll just press escape select it again and delete it we accidentally deleted that one too so i'll just press escape Control z select this and delete it there we are now we have a completely clean drawing here now using this as a reference i'm now going to create the trimmed surface but before i do that let's bring everything back in our drawing so right click isolate and object isolation and i'm just going to hide again several things except for maybe this one so i'll just select this surface and this one for sure right click isolate and hide all right we can delete these two circles too and we can hide these surfaces once again all right right click isolate and hide object done and maybe this one too isolate and hide object all right so this is what we have now i just want to make another copy of this surface right underneath this so for that i'll go to surface and i'll select offset select the surface press enter now currently it will make offset on this side but we want to reverse it so i'll select flip direction and here i'll add a distance of 0.1 unit and enter so now we have this tiny offset surface right underneath this that's what i want all right now i'll also hide this newly created surface that's the one so right click isolate and hide object so that we only have this we can hide this surface too so isolate and hide object so now we only have this and this surface so let's trim it now trimming it one by one is quite tedious as you can see there are several small circles so you simply cannot use this trim tool to just trim it all so in this case we'll use a special case of trim which is this auto trim option so make sure this auto trim is checked and with that select this option project to ucs select this entire set of object now press enter and now select the surface which you want to trim which happens to be this one so select this and give it a moment and there we are it just trimmed everything like that so everything is trimmed and as you can see the holes are also created so that's the quick way of making this trim after trimming you can certainly delete all these sketches these are no longer required and you can also bring back everything so right click isolate end object isolation and everything is back in our drawing area and that completes our drawing so this is how you can use the surfacing tool of autocad to create this earphone.